Hey everyone, Travis Tom here with Elevated Real Estate Marketing. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to use the new video creation tool that Facebook just launched. Take static images and turn them into nice animated ads that get people's attention and interest. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, okay, so to access this new video creation tool that Facebook just released a couple days ago, you can either use traffic or video views or lead generation. There's a few different ways to get to it. I'm gonna start with traffic because that's one of the most widely used ones when you're creating a campaign. And to fast track it a little bit more, instead of going through all of this information like you would with a normal campaign, we would just go down to identity, at the ad level, and then this is where we can go through and I show you exactly how to access the new templates. So it has just a little thing here, hit use templates. And this is the video creation kit that's gonna open up and show us the different templates that we can utilize. So we have a few different ones. We've got four different templates that we can use as square templates or vertical templates for more of a mobile uh, type of environment. It takes up the full screen, you can see it's pretty cool. So which, whichever one that you want to use, if you're gonna use vertical, you might wanna have most of your photos fit within the vertical format. Square template is probably gonna be the easiest one for most of us to use because most of our images are in that square format. I'm gonna go down to show product benefits to show you the diversity of the different types of templates. They're all about 15 seconds or less because Facebook recommends that most of your videos should be around 15 seconds long. That doesn't mean that every single video you do should be 15 seconds long, I'm just showing you that most videos that have high impact for branding, getting engagement, getting people to actually uh, take action are about 15 seconds. And you'll need it to be 15 seconds or less to show up inside of certain platforms like Instagram, right? Showing up in those kind of news feeds. So when we open this up, it gives us the opportunity to start to choose from the different scenes that we have here. And you can see that it's gonna play through all these different scenes and show different images and the brand name. So what we can do is go ahead and select image and we can go up to some of our images that we might have up here. We'll choose a pool to start out with. And I'm gonna just gonna showcase uh, some random images for a property that uh, we might want to promote. And here we can select the position, positioning of the logo, right? Where should the logo go? What should it say? You can swap out that logo image, whatever it might be, or turn it on or turn it off. Or make it large or small, depending on the size of the logo. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with small, uh, actually medium, and we'll keep it on for right now because it looks pretty cool. Okay, then you can have some text overlay that you want to add on there, right? So introduce your business is the default text we have. So we might something, say something like uh, 5545 um, X Road as the uh, address there and positioning it Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna keep it down at the bottom here. Then we'll go to the next scene. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the diamond ring as a logo because that doesn't uh, suit our goal of showcasing a property. And I'm just gonna choose from a few other photos we might have here to kind of give you guys an idea of how to really make this uh, work for your benefit for a property. So we're gonna say, Amazing views. And I'm gonna go ahead and position that maybe a little bit higher. Well, actually, we'll just leave it there for now. And then scene three, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out another image. Let's see if I can choose an image that might work for us. Kind of a lifestyle image that we'll have here. Same thing, we go down and scribe it. We'll see large backyard. And then scene four. We'll select another image here. T 
Check out the diamond ring, describe the product again. Do some quick spell check. And so you guys kind of get the idea, right? If we start off here, it's gonna give us a little bit of an anim animation there, showing the different types of uh, scenes of the property and then you know whatever else you might want to use there so we can then go ahead and say i'm not going to go into scene five i'm just going to go ahead and skip forward and uh oh actually we do have to choose scene five apparently i'll just choose this image again for now well actually for this we probably want to use a call to action at the very bottom on this one to say um see all the photos pricing We'll just say, see all the photos and more. All right, let's go back to this scene here and we'll turn this one off to get rid of the logo and just hit use video. So that's how you create a video with a new ad creation tool. It shows up in a few different places under Facebook lead ads, under video engagement, under traffic, right? There's a few different places that we can actually use these new tools to go ahead and take static images, right? Images that are not animated and give them a slight bit of animation to them. All right, so there we go. This is what the ad would look like in the newsfeed. So we have our headline, our text up here, and then our animation, right? Kind of giving you some brief snapshot images, a little overlay text, and a call to action at the end to get them to take some sort of action to become a lead. So this is a really cool new tool that they came out with. I highly suggest that you start playing with it, see what you can do, what you can create. There's lots of different options and it's really easy. It only took us less than two minutes to really create this ad. So that's it, that's how you create new Facebook ad creation tools.